What you guys got another fix it video here for you. This is another Windows blue screen of death error, which is called NTFS file system error. When you boot up your system, you'll get a bit of a boot up screen and then you'll get the NTFS a file system a blue screen of death. Now this can be caused by quite a few things. You may get this popping up once you've uh, rebooted. It's called preparing automatic reboot. After you've done about three attempts of a reboot, you'll get that message popping up and it will try and diagnose and recover your hard drive uh, and this is a common thing okay but this doesn't always resolve the issue you can see here it's trying to repair disk errors and uh, this can take about an hour and sometimes you'll get another blue screen of death just like this one here and then you will have to try and resolve it now this is called by corruption of the NTFS a file system and what we're going to do is try and fix that so we're going to go into our uh, BIOS here and boot to a USB flash drive where we've created a bootable uh, USB uh, G parted or and this is what we're going to be using here. So the first fix that we want to do once we've booted up to this is to try to resize the NTFS file system. This is sometimes an issue where the NTFS file system uh, either the drive is too full and there's not enough space or the uh, drive needs to be expanded in some sort of way and I'll show you how to do that by using this program here. There is other reasons for it like viruses and malware can cause this. Also system memory is running out of space. It could be a driver issue as well with drivers on your system and I'll go through all this in this video so watch the whole video and I'll show you how to resolve it. Could also be damaged or um, removed system files which I'll show you how to resolve and also a damaged or bad hard drive. This is another common cause of this and I'll show you how to test and fix all of these using this video. So watch the whole video and make sure that you don't miss anything. Okay so once Gparted is fully booted up this is going to be the first method of your fix. You can extend the system partition on your C drive. Now maybe you're getting low disk space warning or maybe there's not enough uh, space on the C drive and what you need to do is uh, take some space from another partition and give it to the C drive and extend that C drive so it gives it a bit more space. You can see I do have some unallocated space here which I can use which is seven gigabytes. If you don't have unallocated space available to you then you're going to have to take some space from another partition uh, and give it to the C drive okay or remove some data from that C drive. So what I'm going to do here is I'm basically going to right click on here and I'm now going to open this up so I can resize and move uh, the drive. You can see the free space is 7203 and I'm going to use all of that free space and put that onto my C drive. Now you can drag these bars here, these are what you can drag up and down and you can also use the minus and plus signs uh, on the uh, free space there to take that away and give it to your C drive and you can basically just click on this as you can see here. This is the plus and this is the minus. So you can see when I click on these it takes and adds space to the drives that you're clicking it on. So what I'm going to do is reduce the free space down to zero and put this all onto my C drive. Okay, so I speeded this process up and you can now see that I do have all of that space added and I'm just going to click OK here. And now you can see I can click on the green tick up the top and this will now finish off uh, the process and this will then add this in. Now you can see there is no unallocated uh, space left apart from one megabyte. So I'm just going to click the green tick and apply this and it will then start copying all of that free space over to my C drive. This is important because this will then expand, extend the C drive to an extra seven gigabytes and this should hopefully resolve the issue and allow me to boot up to the desktop. And then I can then free up some more space once I get there. Now again, this might not be your problem. This may be just one of the uh, resolutions to your problem. If it is not this that is causing the problem, you haven't run out of space and you don't have low disk space warnings or anything like that, then you need to check some of the other uh, fixes that I'm gonna show you in this video, okay? So you can skip this bit once you know this is not your problem and then move on to the next step. But I'm just gonna finish this off just in case this is resolving a problem for someone who has this issue. So I'm just going to quickly finish this off and close this off now. And you can download uh, this Gparted from the website. Uh, I'll leave the link in the video description and create your own bootable USB flash drive. 
Now it'll ask you to remove your USB flash drive and boot up to the system. Now I should get uh, the problem resolved here because that was what the problem was for this system. Uh, but if it's not the same problem that you're having, I'll show you what else you can do. Now, if it is related to malware and viruses, you will need to scan uh, anti-malware programs. Now, if you can't boot up because you're getting that error, then what you'll need to do is use something like Kaspersky Rescue Disk and boot up to that and then run a scan with that. And it should remove any malware from the system and allow you to boot up. So let's move on to another one here I'm going to go to disk management here now you should see the space is all been used up and now we've extended our C drive okay so now I'm going to open up IOMI partition assistant here and we're going to run some checks on the drive you can see this is our C drive I can now done do a check on this drive to make sure the drive is not bad this can check for bad errors or bad sectors or anything like that on the drive and you can do it from inside here you can also do this in command prompt if you wish this is a free tool you can download called IOMI partition assistant this is the standard edition which is free but if you want to use the command prompt I will also show you that method as well now what you're looking for here is to make sure there is no bad sectors or any errors on the drive okay and that's important now if you want to use the check disk go down to the search and type CMD and run this as administrator and inside here you can just do a chk dsk and then push enter and see what comes up this is your first preliminary check you can see there is no bad sectors or anything like that on the drive and that's important if there's any errors it will start to flag up and show them and this means you've got something wrong with your drive it doesn't necessarily mean your drive is bad or failing it just means uh, that you've got errors with your drive if it's bad sectors then it's not good and it means probably the drive is starting to fail or it's on its way out now we can also do a surface scan here by clicking on disk one and do a surface scan we can do a quick one here and this will also indicate any bad uh, sectors or any bad or damage uh, sectors on the drive you can see here you can also do a more thorough check by taking the check mark out of quick check and leave this running and this will then also check the drive to make sure the drive is in good working order now if you're in the dark and you don't know what the problem is then you might want to run through a lot of these checks just to make sure you get the right one to fix your problem so we're going to go into CMD here by going into the administrator privileges of the command prompt so we can then run some check disk this is what you can do chk dsk space c colon and then forward slash f make sure you uh, push enter here and it will ask you do you want to run this check on the next boot up you can put type y for yes i'm not going to do this because obviously this is a tutorial and it will take too much time but i'm so i'm going to put no but make sure you do y for yes or you can do the chk dsk and then c colon space forward slash r now you can do these together as in f and r together if you want to and that would be chk dsk space c colon space forward slash r space forward slash f if you wanted to do that and then say y for yes and your system will reboot and it will start to check the drive now another thing to check is the operating system structure to make sure there's no corruption so type cmd in the search box and run this as administrator and inside here you can type sfc space forward slash scan now just like that and, th and then push enter and this will check to make sure there is no uh, corruption and it will restore those problems for you now if there is a major corruption with your operating system this could have been your problem and you'll need to fix and resolve that okay you can try all sorts of different things to try and fix this this is the first preliminary check that you're going to take if you do have errors that it can't repair then you're going to need to do some more in-depth repairs for that windows operating system and sometimes doing a quick reinstall is the way forward now you can also see here a crystal disk info this is another piece of software you can use to check the smart on your drive to make sure the drive is not failing and if is if this is the case then you will need to replace that drive whether it's an ssd or a hard drive it gives you the smart information okay so next up we're going to go into device manager another area is bad drivers if you haven't got a driver installed or it's gone bad or you've got an exclamation mark here like this one this can cause this error to cause a blue screen of death so what you're going to need to do is make sure that you've got all the latest drivers for that 
uh, motherboard and uh, to do that you can go to system information on your system and find out what uh, manufacturer motherboard you have got under the system summary this will tell you uh, the baseboard version now this is a virtual machine but I know what my uh, motherboard is it tells you your CPU it tells you all the other information here but because this is a virtual machine it's saying Intel Corporation but it would give you the model and make a number of your motherboard inside here listed right here um, okay baseboard manufacturer just go there and find out what that is and there's other ways of finding it but if you know what it is then go to the manufacturer's website and you need to hit the support button here and click on support and then you need to go to driver and tools inside here you need to put in your operating system which you are using and this will give you a bunch of drivers that you can download audio LAN utilities chipset chipset is normally the one that you want to start downloading and all the other ones are useful as well and sometimes having these installed on the system can take away any sort of yellow exclamation marks or any problems you may be having with uh, your system and also stop you from getting the blue screen of death now as I've mentioned before if you've got malware on the system this can cause blue screens as well and you will need to download something like Kaspersky rescue disk if you can't boot up to Windows this will then allow you to create a bootable USB flash drive run a scan with this make sure you do the updates on the Kaspersky rescue disk and run a full scan and hopefully this will remove any problems and you should be able to boot back into Windows and then do some more scans from there now if your drive has failed or it's failing then you may need to replace that drive and do a fresh install of Windows and hopefully if you followed all of these tips and tricks your PC should be back up and running and you should have that problem resolved Anyway, that's going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this one helps you out. I shall see you again for another video tomorrow. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.